Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Dogecoin. With Dogecoin, um, no change to the lower level wave count, but what I wanted to do in this video is just to show you how this wave one to the upside was counted. Because I looked at the chart, I realized, I realized for some reason my count had disappeared. So I'm gonna do that in this video, how I see the subwaves um, here for Dogecoin. Dogecoin, and you know, what I need to say is that Doge, holds much better than many other coins yeah it's it's quite impressive actually i mean um i always need to be careful because we've got the, the doge army watching right but i mean it, it is a meme coin yeah it is a meme coin in my opinion but it's a funny one and certainly we cannot ignore uh, elon musk's involvement so you know and and we need to take it seriously just by looking at the market cap of doge so it's certainly a coin many people are interested in it has a huge fan base fair enough I see this here as a wave one, this as the wave two, this as the three, this as the four, and this as the five. It is not a highly reliable count because the wave four, in my opinion, retraces too much. Yeah, that is um, just a little bit of a flaw, really. Um, it Well, it doesn't retrace too much in the sense that it makes the count invalid because we are not breaking into the wave one price range. But it's certainly on the linear chart with the wave four, you would not expect a retracement that goes down to the 78.6% retrace in a wave four. But um, it is a possible interpretation. It's not invalid. Um, whenever possible, I do avoid this, these, you know, to label a wave four if it, uh, if it retraces that much. Um, but in this case, I can't avoid it. So the alternative would, the only alternative I have would be to count Doge as bearish. But the current retracements that Doge is doing and the structure to the downside, I mean, the structure down looks corrective. Yeah, it has a corrective characteristic and also the actual retracement is less than what many other coins are doing, very honest with you, yeah? So if we look at the retracement, it has dropped now as well below the 88.7% FIP level, but you know, other coins, Example Solana is basically 80% below the 88.7% FIP level. Doge is maybe 10 to 20% below that level. Um, and also if we look at the log chart, so looking at the log chart, we would probably label that a bit differently because then you, you, you have all this other stuff here, which you would on the linear chart, you just wouldn't be bothered about. Um, but here on the log chart, in my opinion, you even have a clearer three-wave pattern. So it's a it's a bit of a reason for concern, right? A, B, C. But as long as we are recovering in the next bull run with the other coins, it should be okay. Because this move down on the linear chart it can be counted as a five-wave move up. And for me on the linear chart, I, I don't have any, you know, you, you just can't count this as an A, B, C. Yeah, not like, not, not using this. I mean, on the linear chart, you would ignore this. What the, all the stuff that happened here before, because it's just not relevant. It's um, it's the very early days, you could say. Um, okay, but let's say we count it like that, wave one to the upside, wave two to the downside. Oh, by the way, I have to change the wave degree. So, yeah, if we then zoom in, obviously looking at this um, on the daily chart, I go to the daily chart, if we then look at this chart, we can say that off the high, which was made in May 21, we came down an ABC correction. So we had a wave A, which came down back in May, a wave B to the upside. And since then it has come down, but it's actually been quite slow, the downtrend compared to other coins. So we had, um, one sec, I think I labeled that wrong. Yeah, no, the wave one needs to sit here. Okay, and then we've got it all sorted. Don't know, that must have moved and the wave two, whoops, and the wave two does sit here. Yep, that moved, but, um, so yeah, A, B down, yeah, wave A, B done, and then here the wave one down, the wave two up, the wave three, that was here the June low, at around, where were we, five cents, I believe, then we came up in a wave four, and I always told you that unless we see a fifth wave here to the upside, this is only going to be a corrective move up. And now we are still waiting here for a fifth wave down. This was a very clear three wave move to the upside. And it makes it therefore very likely that we're gonna put a wave five to the downside in. 
Um, my view still stands that we're gonna go lower and the next target for me is the five cent level. Whenever we have a, a day, so a few days of, you know, slightly green candles, a lot of questions always come in, you know, is the change, is, is the count still valid? Absolutely, I'm still very much in favor of a move down to um, five cents at least, but most likely lower. Um, it's not entirely clear where we are gonna end now or yeah, uh, where, where we're gonna end um, the bear market. But certainly the next target will be the five, um, the five cent level. That's the June low. And as we break this, we're going to go quite a bit lower, I believe. Um, looking at this structure here, this fifth wave, I can see a first wave as complete when we hit the seven cent level. A wave two retracement done and now a wave three down. What we cannot rule out, and that is a bit unfortunate in the current situation, is that because I've, I've always talked about the possibility of this wave two going higher in an extended wave C. Um, that is unfortunately still possible in a slightly different pattern, but we can see the move up as an A wave, the move down as a B wave, even though it looks very much like a five wave move, but we can't rule it out. And then another C wave to the upside. So if we see any impulsive price action to the upside from here, my view would not be that this is the end of the of the bear market. It would rather just be a C wave in a larger wave too, which would eventually sell off further. The only reason I say that is that we still have this possibility on the BTC and ETH charts. Matic might do this as well, but um, yeah, I mean, Doge isn't really doing much, so I don't think we are, we're gonna see this. But, and also the move up is currently not really impulsive. I can only count three waves at the moment. One, two, three, so A, B, C, and this should eventually lead to another move down. We're currently only making lower lows and lower highs. So unless we break above the previous swing high at 7.9 cents, the focus is on lower with the next target of 5 cents. Confirmation that we are going to go lower is a break below the 6.6 .6 cent level. That would send us probably down quite quickly. First of all, into the 5.5 cent range here where we had these supports, the previous wave below, and then down to 5 cents. And then we just take it from there. That all won't happen overnight. So we have a bit of time. Okay, and that's my update about Doge. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.